Welcome to Jack O' Lantern Spectacular 2019. Yeah. So we're so excited to welcome you here today. Uh, our theme for 2019 is the four seasons. And I'm sure Maddie will talk to you a little bit about uh, the individual themes that we have for the year. But this is our seventh year of Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular and it just gets bigger and better every single year. And for those of you who don't know, this is the largest fundraiser for our public parks. And proceeds from this event have been invested in playgrounds, uh, summer blessings, which is a program that we have to feed children during the summer months, soccer fields, the first skate spot in the Midwest, nature playgrounds, and uh, as you came in today, you probably saw the concrete trucks out front. That's another, our most recent investment. We opened a soccer field yesterday, and today you can see the improvements that the Louisville Parks Foundation is making to the Ticket Plaza and uh, the curb. So we are here to support our amazing public parks and our parks department, and this event is key to making that happen. The other thing that we, we need for this event, and we are blessed to have, are our sponsors. We could not pull this off if it were not for uh, our sponsors, and just like in everything we do, projects through partnerships, they, our sponsors are a tremendous partner in this event. Uh, I would like to uh, recognize Metro by T-Mobile, Yellowstone Select, which is actually our presenting sponsor for the Pre-Lit Bash this year, which is our, our upscale amazing event on opening night. Uh, Republic Bank, Subway, Papa John's, Metro Council, lg and EKU, Louisville Tourism, port clean UPS, PNC Bank, UFCW 227, AT&T Fiber, Live in Lou, and Waste Management. Uh, we have several great discounted nights this year thanks to our sponsors. October 16th is Republic Bank Night. Anyone with a Republic Bank card or employee ID gets $2 off, up to four tickets. October 29th, Thankfully, um, sponsored by our Metro Council, that is $2 across the board for all tickets. And next, I'd like to invite the mayor up to talk to you a little bit about two really special nights that we have this year, thanks to our sponsors. Thank you, Brooke. Well, it is exciting to be here for the seventh Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Uh, We've come a long way since our first one, and it's just been incredible the way to see it. it's grown every year. One thing that has not changed is the wonderful partnerships that we've had with Metro Parks and how everybody just works together to make this happen. Uh, Marty Storch, I see here, Marty was with the Parks Department back in the first year, and he's a, he's a good entrepreneur that happens to also work for city government. Uh, coming off the Tri-Festa this uh, last month as well, all the way the different ways the different departments of uh, Metro came together to help was just incredible. And I think that's one of the things that why we're so successful with everything that we do. So we're here at the beautiful Iroquois Park. If you could think what Frederick Law Olmsted would have probably thought about the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. If he had a good sense of humor, he would have been all for it. So I think it's a wonderful way to work the park. And when you put the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular together with the Halloween Festival and the world's largest Halloween party at the zoo, we think that Louisville is the Halloween capital of America. So that's one of our many distinctions here. We had almost 100,000 people uh, come through last year, and that's nearly four times what happened the first year. And it promotes this amazing park here, and as what Brooke talked about, with all the wonderful work with the foundation. Because the foundation was a, was a great idea, but it took us a couple years to really get started. When Brooke came on board full time, we're starting to see the results that are happening throughout the city. Just yesterday, 
uh, Louisville Parks Foundation and others launched the soccer fields at Wyandotte Park, which is a tremendous addition to the city. Three soccer fields just here in the past 18 months, over half a million dollars raised for them. So big kudos, Brooke, to you and the entire team. Uh, people make all kinds of memories here. And one of my favorites is my daughters. She, uh, when she got married two years ago, one of their wedding events was here at the Jack O'Lantern Spectacular. And of course, at the end of the trail, what was there? A pumpkin with her and her fiancés. Pretty faces right on the pumpkin there. So <laughs> that will always be a great family memory for us. And the creativity of... Uh, the passions for pumpkin is, is great with our new themes every year. This year's theme is Four Seasons and celebrating each month and the holidays and the trappings and everything associated with those. So it's just fun. And obviously, it's not, the show's always changing, too. So when you come out on day one or day 21, you see different cool things and the weather's different always. And if the wind's blowing, it's a little spooky on the trail. It's just a fun place to, to be. Now, we got a couple new things this year. One is Metro by T-Mobile Mondays is when folks get $2 off admission on Mondays by picking up a discount card at their local Metro by T-Mobile store. So we appreciate that. And then we're going to have a sensory night on November 2nd sponsored by PNC Bank. And that's designed for people with autism and sensory spectrum disorders. So that will be a great night for them to come out and enjoy the festival as well. Other, you know, we talk about Metro Parks and uh, Dana and Masude and Margaret are here and the entire team. We thank you guys for your wonderful job. Iroquois Amphitheater is obviously part of Metro Parks. So this event is being produced with the help of the Iroquois Amphitheater, who's just wrapping up an incredible season. It gets better and better every year. And we're celebrating more than 80 years of entertainment. So that was one of our goals was really to lift up the amphitheater when we started with our administration. That's being done. That's just going to continue to increase because Colonial Gardens right across the street now is just looking fantastic. Uh, Taco Luchador and Union 15 are open. There'll be two more concepts coming there, which you'll be hearing about real soon as well. We also wrapped up our 12th season of free movie nights at the amphitheater. I want to thank Councilman Triplett and the rest of the council for being a big part of that. Uh, Councilman Nicole George, I saw her car, I don't know if she's here, but, she, but she, she's been a huge champion as well. And former Councilwoman Marianne Butler is over here, who has her fingerprints on all kinds of things that are happening around the city, including these events as well. So Marianne, thank you for your continued leadership. Wearing your orange shirt today, I'm sure that is not a coincidence, so <laughs> she is always on her game. All right, um, let's, I just say support the Louisville Parks Foundation. We've raised over a million dollars. It was a beautiful, great idea when this was started to say, let's help the Parks Foundation with this jack-o'-lantern spectacular. So that's ended up obviously being really good for a lot of people in all different ways. So I, I just want to thank the sponsors as well. Brooke mentioned all of them. I like so many things in our city. It just takes a lot of folks coming together to make it happen, and we do it unlike any other city in the country in terms of our partnerships and teamwork and other mayors say how much they admire us for doing it. Some cities' departments don't even talk to each other. You know, here, when we talk, it's how can we help, and I really appreciate that. So thanks, everybody. Enjoy a great season here. So next, I'd like to introduce Chief James. He's been a tremendous supporter of the foundation in this event. Chief James. Thank you, Brooke, and the Louisville Found the Parks Foundation. You all have been phenomenal partners uh, with the Parks Department. Uh, I think we have the best Parks Department in the country. They're the hardest working team that produces so much. And I'm really proud of them and the work that they continue to do day in and day out and being able to provide the highest quality of service for our citizens across our 120 parks across the city. Uh, they do a phenomenal job and this moment and this Jack Leonard Spectacular is really uh, important for me because um, it's personal because this was the day uh, that I celebrate my second year anniversary because the mayor had announced two years ago of my appointment as the chief of community building. And I didn't know what I was getting into, but I was excited about the challenge, 
but I'm so thankful and grateful for the opportunity because this is one of the best jobs I've had in my life to be able to pour out my heart in serving the community. And so it's been such a joy working with partners like Brooke and working uh, with the parks and we have this uh, incredible zoo. Uh, all of the agencies that report to me, it's been really exciting because this spectacular is a way that our community really can come together and connect with such divisiveness across our country that we see uh, in, in media and social media, that everything is dividing us. But this is an opportunity that our communities can come together and people from all over the state can come to the spectacular and see some incredible uh, art exhibits and then to be able to have dialogues about what's happening and what's going on and, and take their minds away from television and focus on the nature and not focus on being outdoors with family and friends. And so this is why this is really important for our city because it's a way that our city can grow and grow exponentially when you have events like this that really connect people together across the state, across the city, and an opportunity really to flourish, to be that city that, that's a shining star in our country. So thank you, Mayor, for your leadership. Incredible opportunity to be able to serve under you. And thank you, Brooke, for your leadership with the Louisville Parks Foundation. Thank you very much. So when this event started seven years ago, it was a partnership with the, the foundation, the city, and Louisville Tourism. It would not, it, this event would not be here had it not been for that leadership. And, and I would like to welcome Karen up to talk a little bit. Thank you, Brooke. You know, before I talk a little bit about this event, I really, you know, the mayor, said something and was thanking all the Metro Council. And I would be remiss as running Louisville Tourism and having so many of my team here to not thank the mayor and all of the Metro Council for the last 60, 90 days. This city has been rocking, has it not? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I don't have so much of a voice I haven't been rocking, but you know, it really takes partnership. Very few community, communities can go continuously as this community has for the last 90 to 120 days. So thank you, Mayor, for that leadership. Okay, here we are today. It feels like it was just yesterday uh, that we were here talking about this. And Brooke, we are so proud and honored to be the seventh season. And you know, so we were looking at figures. So the first year, you were looking at about 39, 40,000 people here. So here, seven years later, as Amir said, over 100,000. That is huge. That deserves a huge round of applause. And from our perspective, we know, working very closely with you, that we would say over those years, seven years, 71% of those people have come from all over the country and some all over the world. This is such a spectacular event. And, you know, we're just so proud and honored. I mean, again, we just came right off the hills of a huge, huge festival. We're going right into this for the next 30 days. Then we'll be doing Light Up Louisville Mayor before we know it. So there's no rest for the weary in this town, but that's the way we love it. You know, I, I have to, I'm sorry that Travis and Paul are not here. I was telling Maddie, I know that they're doing their opening in Minnesota. I'm sure it's maybe a tad cooler in Minnesota. But I really want to thank you know, Maddie and Paul and Travis and all the artists for their creativity. That's what makes it so different and so special every year. And because of this creativity, we all got together in a room about a year ago, maybe longer than a year ago, Marty, conversations started happening. And we're in this beautiful park, in this beautiful community, and it just begs itself to do another event. So we are so proud and honored to be a partner in planning, and you'll hear more about this, the Winter Spectacular, which will show in this forest the beautiful holiday figures and lights. So we'll enjoy this, but stay tuned to December. Thank you. I love it. Well, as Karen said, we are so sorry that uh, Paul and Travis are not here today, but we got Maddie, we got the man. So Maddie is the creative genius behind what you see in this room. He is the one that oversees all the artists and is 
clearly the best of the best of pumpkin artists. So Maddie, why don't you talk a little bit more about the show? Thank you so much. <clears throat> Wow. Uh, welcome to uh, the heart and pulse of Passion for Pumpkins. This is the studio. This is where the magic happens. Uh, this year we have an exquisite, enchanting walk through the woods that's going to describe the four seasons. Uh, the calendar, you know, uh, eclipses everything and we try to leave it broad so our artists and uh, Travis and Paul and I can use our creativity to describe uh, the four seasons. So this year, you know, we, we have a, a tribute to Stan Lee who just passed away with all his marbles. Uh, Memorial Day and Veterans Day will be, uh, you know, a big part of the show. Um, there's, there's a little bit of everything for, for everybody to, uh, to become enlightened because that's what happens out here. There's, a, there's an enlightenment and, and our artists are glowing from the inside and it shows out there. And what's going to be on display is a, is a uh, is a display of, of heart and soul on that trail. And there's no rhyme or reason for pumpkins to be out in the woods other than just to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for coming. Thank you for the Parks Department. And, and uh, thank you for the tourism. Thank you, Marty Storch. Thank you, Mayor Fisher, Brooke, Erica. It's a great place to be. You, didn't say, you need to say your line. Oh. Changing the world. Yeah, the, the line that we've been saying is changing the world one pumpkin at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. So, um, back to business. We need to talk about some other changes this year in addition to our great discount nights. We have moved to time ticketing for Friday and Saturday nights. Uh, we're really excited about this and think that it's going to help with the crowds and the traffic and just make the experience that much better for everyone. So uh, make sure when you go on the website to purchase your tickets, uh, I would suggest doing it now because we fully expect uh, these the, the most popular times to sell out. Um, we will also have uh, merchandise again this year, but an expanded uh, merchandise tent. So we have the t-shirts and the ball caps that we had last year, but we also have or uh, commemorative ornaments for Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular. Maddie can show off our new, new hats this year. We have several different kinds of ball caps. And uh, we also have knit caps, sweatshirts, you name it. We, we're going to have it. So we're excited about that. And uh, we say every, every year for you locals, best to come Sunday through Thursday. We repeat that over and over again. Please come Sunday through Thursday. <laughs> Even though Friday and Saturday nights are gonna be much smoother with time ticketing, we still encourage you to come on those days. And we have all those wonderful discount days during the week. Uh, I'd like to thank LMPD. I'm gonna do a couple of, well, some several thanks here. Um, LMPD and Patty Hannafin and her team that are gonna be helping us out again this year. Uh, the Iroquois Amphitheater staff, we would not be able to do this event if it weren't for the hard work and dedication of, of Mike Hallett and his team. Uh, they're just phenomenal and they worked very, they worked very hard to, to pull this off. Uh, the the passion for pumpkins guys that we've talked about we have we have not only do we put on the do they put on this amazing event but we just have a whole lot of fun doing it and uh, we love each and every one of them and I am now going to go back to the hint that Karen gave there's going to be lots more information coming out but. The Louisville Parks Foundation, in uh, conjunction with Hey Bob Productions, will host the Winter Woods Spectacular this year, opening November 30th and running through December 31st. And when we first started having these real on the ground, okay, we think we want to make this happen conversations with Karen, uh, Paul and Travis started to describe what they had in mind for this amazing half mile drive through Iroquois Park with the woods uplit. And Karen said, 
you guys got this. I know what you do. Now let's get down to business. <laughs> so it really is going to be amazing. We once again want to thank Louisville Tourism for their sponsorship of our newest and, uh, and, and greatest event. Um, we open November 30th. Uh, that's Saturday, so it's Thanksgiving, then it's Light Up Louisville, then it's Saturday, November 30th. Uh, we'll open Winterwood Spectacular, and it runs through December 31st. Uh, to learn more, go to winterwoodspectacular.com. It's that simple. Uh, and, uh, and you'll be learning a lot more about that, that event. So, so uh, thank you once again. Um, for coming out today. Thank you, thank you, thank you to our sponsors who really make all of this possible. And uh, go, go walk around and take a look at some of these beautiful pumpkins. <laughs>